every other building is down or it has an X. Structurally unsafe, that's it, done. Three levels of the school completely collapsed. There could have been kids, teachers, and life lost there. They have a very uncertain situation. Their whole world can come crumbling down at any second. Can you grab that sign? We already loaded up the car with more lights. When I say we, I mean Jamie, and myself. It's been 14 humanitarian trips to Puerto Rico. And it's crazy because I grew up here, but I never did internal tourism. So I did all of that discovering through humanitarian work. This is gorgeous. My island. I put out a video on Facebook. Rihanna retweeted it. And then after that, CNN had contacted me and Lex saw one of those interviews and he hit me up right away and he was like, how can I help? And they're all inside because they don't have tents. I have mine clipped. Here you go. Thanks, dude. This is the Puerto Rican way. We always find a way. <laughs> yeah, our resilience is ridiculous. She said that she's finally going to get some rest, that she wants to sleep for days because it's constant shaking every time, so now she feels secure that the building is not going to fall on her. This house, there's 12 people that stay here, and there's 18 people total, and some other people stay overnight in their cars. This is my, my home. Met a retired veteran who doesn't get any benefits from the VA. We just provided him with all those things so that he could sleep outside in the tent, has a stove. Hopefully, that'll help him get through this. Gracias, un millón. Que Dios lo bendiga y lo cuide. Que Dios lo bendiga. Dios te bendiga y te cuide. I seen how people had to flee and they left their pets behind. So I started by dog food, first the dogs, and then cats, pigs, horses. This time I've seen a lot of strays in the street. For instance, I found Bumpy. I saw him and I fed him, gave him water, and then we hear this car just hit him, and we were like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So I went up to him and I noticed that he's blind, and that's why he was so disoriented from the constant earthquakes. And he's the sweetest, the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest dog. It's a heavy toll. It's a weird feeling, but it's definitely important to be here at this moment because I feel like I could help. Some of them can't get away. Some of them don't have the means to move away. So if we can make their experience just a little bit better, that's us just doing our part. But at the end of the day, we're going to walk away and go about our lives again. And these people are still going to be here wondering what's going to happen until all of this passes.